very strange. This bag can hold many spells. They can be cast without much effort and are very effective. But whoever did this put only one spell in the bag. A spell that sickens its victims and causes a slow and painful death. Only witches that practice black magic would know this spell. But why would someone deliberately try to kill the great tree? How can you tell what spell it contains? I am well versed in all types of spells. I don't practice black magic, but I know of witches that do. You promise to tell me how to get to the demon gate? Yes, of course. I must tell you though, no man has ever entered the demon plane. What makes you believe that you could survive it? I survived the spirit plane and it is infested with evil. Can the demon plane be much worse? Far worse than you can imagine. You must not enter without protection. Here, take this bag. When in the presence of your enemy, throw a small scarab stone at it. The stone will transform into many tiny bugs that will swarm, causing it to become very ill, but use it wisely. The spell will wear off over time. Thank you. Now you must tell me how to enter the gate. To access the demon plane, you will need the bones of a great Indian warrior. With these bones, I will construct for you a twana that will open the gate. Where am I going to find the bones of an Indian warrior? I've heard tales of an old burial ground that lies somewhere around here, but I've never been there, so I don't know where it's located. Indian bones, I can help you. What do you know about Indian bones, Hiram? A few months ago, I was wandering through the forest when I came upon two odd-looking statues. As I moved closer, I saw an entrance to a burial ground guarded by two Indian warriors. They told me that I lacked the courage to enter, and I fled in fear. Do you remember where it is? Yes! How could I forget? The look on the faces of those two guards was horrifying. It's deep within the forest. I can show it to you on your map. I'm impressed, Hiram. You've managed to be useful for something. I thought you were only good for draining the town's liquor supply. I am immune to you, witch. When Mr. Pride defeats the evil surrounding us, your dark practices will end. You have no idea of my powers, Hiram. But perhaps I can demonstrate them for you soon. Why do you torment him so? Don't worry, Jonathan. I'm just toying with him. I wish no harm to hear him. He just gets so timid when I speak to him that it's hard to resist teasing him. Please, don't aggravate him. I may need his help and I cannot rely on him if he is confused and possessed by fear. I will leave him alone. When you return with the bones, I will construct the Twana. Thank you. That witch can torment me no longer.
Halt, witch hunter! You shall not enter these holy grounds. Only those who have proven their courage may enter here. The spirit of the bear may only be invoked by the most courageous of hearts. You may enter these sacred grounds, but be warned, they contain untold dangers. The evil hand of Hecatomix can be felt even on these hallowed grounds.
Lord Hecatomics has warned you already to stop interfering in his plans. He has sent me to bring you to your knees and slowly suck the life from your pitiful body.
the time draws near. You must enter the demon plane and face Hecatomix. You must keep your eyes wide open as you travel the demon plane. There are still children there, and they are in grave danger. You have come far since we first met, and your faith has grown stronger. But I would like to strengthen you further by teaching you a spell that will give you greater power over your enemies. The raindrops in this vial are from a brutal thunderstorm that occurred over a thousand years ago. When the vial is destroyed, a storm will rage and cause great damage to your foes. But use caution, Jonathan, and remember that unleashing any spell will diminish your personal magical energy. Thank you, Asgaia. Your help has been a great comfort to me.
Welcome back, my son. I have been anxiously awaiting your return. I have much to tell you. What is it, father? You have done a splendid job, Jonathan. But I fear you are about to confront evil that is far more powerful than anything you can imagine. Here, take this Bible with you. Hold it up before an evil being and you will cast an extremely powerful exorcism spell. I must caution you, though. Casting it will diminish both your energy and the demons. You must ensure that you have more energy to spare than your enemy. If you find yourself low on health during the spell, you must stop the exorcism. But be warned, stopping during mid-spell is detrimental to your health, as it will not be replenished. Replenishing your health from the spell can only be done if your target has been destroyed. Oh yes, and you will only be able to cast the exorcism spell twice before replenishing your magical energy. I understand. I await your safe return. I've been waiting for you, Jonathan. Were you able to retrieve the bones from the burial grounds? I have them, but it was no easy task. Oh, these will work nicely. Wait while I construct the Twana, like the spirit Twana. This symbol will give you the power to open the demon gate. You must take this charm with you as well. It will guide you to the gate. Use it in the forest to summon Tawaskara, a dark wolf that will lead you to the demon gate. You must understand, Jonathan, that entering this gate may mean your death. I'll take my chances. Ooh, the stench in here is unbearable. I think that witch has placed some stench Stink curse on myself. Phew. Oh, please hurry, Mr. Pry, and purge this town from the wickedness that has infested it. This gate, witch hunter! 
You thought I would help you on your quest, but I have merely led you to your doom. You will die here, where my jaws will rip the flesh from your bones.
Thank you for saving me. Take this strength talisman. Use it when you need to possess the pure strength of Gnoyadok to overcome an obstacle. Thank you. Travel safely back to your village.
I don't have the strength to open the door. I don't have the strength to open the door. Presence is useless here, witch hunter. You will suffer a slow and painful death. It's a pity that I must kill you, witch hunter! I could have used the likes of you at my side! I have battled evil my whole life. Now you will die. God willing, I will survive this battle to continue my hunt. <laughs> God willing? Your God cannot help you now! We have already won, and I will conquer your world and destroy your pitiful race. As for you, witch hunter, you will suffer pain that you cannot imagine before you breathe your final breath. <laughs> Pathetic mortal, today you shall die with the bitter taste of failure on your lips. Release the witch hunter, Hecatomics. You are finished. You are too late, medicine man. Return from where you came. This is no business of yours. My people have been slaves to your evil for too long. I can think of no better sacrifice for my ancestors and for the generations to come than to sacrifice my life to stop you. You dare to take the side of the white man in this battle? I take only the side of good. 
against evil. May the gates of heaven open for you, my friend. Soon we shall feast together on the spirit plane, my brother. You betray your own blood for this foul mortal. You shall never find rest on the spirit plane. Only the eternal curse you have brought on yourself today. She has finally come. Now it is time for the ceremony to commence. Wake up, Pry. You must hurry and leave this realm before the ceremony is complete. Quickly, this world is crumbling. You don't have much time before the gate is sealed. The time has come for Lord Hecatomix to join with me. Your world will be brought to its knees to bow before the greatest ruler of all time. How did you get out of prison? Your iron bars are useless against the power I hold in my body. But let's dispense with the pleasantries and begin the ceremony. Today is truly a great day. I don't understand. You never understood. You see good and evil with the simplicity of a child. You became a soldier in a battle against yourself. You are too late, Jonathan. You have opened the gate for us, and now Lord Hecatomics will come. We will join together and ravage your loathsome world. You were part of this all along? But I believed in your innocence. I trusted you. Never trust a witch, <laughs> you fool. Didn't you learn that long ago? You've hunted witches your whole life. Your god must be disappointed and ashamed of your weakness. I am the mortal vessel of the demon, and together we will bring the destruction of this world. Now, Chanter, you will be the first to die.
Speak to me, child. Can you hear me? He's alive, Pry. Thanks to you. You have won a great victory here today, Jonathan. I cannot claim to understand the forces at play here. But I know that you have fought a battle that has saved us all. I thank you. On behalf of all the townspeople. God bless you, my son. You have secured your place in heaven today. May God go with you, Jonathan, for all the days of your life. We will forever be indebted to your courage. Men of your character are rare indeed. You know, this town could use a man such as you as our constable. I must respectfully decline, Jonah. My eyes have been opened once again to the spiritual powers of the universe. I must return home to my church, to my flock. It is they who need me, and I who need them. May God go with you, Jonathan. Fare thee well, Father.